Hey YouTube, uh, today I'm going to show you how to um, get spaces on your Mac. So, we all know, if you're on a Mac, you all know that if you open up, like let's say I'll open up Finder, and I'll just create a few Finder windows, and say they would have a bunch of other stuff with them in there scattered all over your desktop and you want one the one that's way underneath there and everything you know way hidden underneath everything you know that you can just go into expose find the one you want and there you go or you're able to just slide your finger or if you have a trackpad just able to slide your fingers up and move all the stuff away so you can get to that important file right here and then you can drag and, and then you can just hold it and then pull your fingers down and drop it where you want it. Well, I'm going to show you another easy way to kind of get rid of that hassle of ha doing that stuff. I mean, expose is easy and everything, but say you want, you want a window running here, a window running there, a window running there, and you want them all, or a window, um, and you want them all running at the same time. Well, I'm going to show you how to do that with spaces. Now, I was confused on spaces until I found out how to do it, so here's what you do. You go into the system preferences, which is right there on my dock, or you can go to Apple and click system preferences. It does the same thing click expose and spaces and then up at the top just choose spaces click enable spaces and there you go to activate spaces F8 don't worry about that switch between spaces now I have uh, the Apple key or the command key and an arrow so if I hold down the command key and click left well, it takes me. Well, if I hold down Command key and click right, as you can see right here, it took me to my right space because I was on my left space, and then it just switched me over to my right. If I click the down, it takes me to the down space, and then so on as you click the arrow keys around and everything like that. So. This is really nice for if you ha go into, say you have this open, and you want to keep this open, but you also want to have, say, um, a video running. So you just hold down Command and go to your other space, and open up that video that you want. Say you want to have that video running and you want to have that going, but you also want to have, say, you want to view a picture. Just go into another space and open up that picture you want. And then you just go over to the other space and you still have one clean space left. Now here's the nicest part. Let me quit that. Say I have YouTube open, or I have this window open right here. <clears throat> and you know how normally, if you don't have a trackpad, I'm not sure how you do this, but if you have a trackpad, you just slide your fingers up and it clears all those windows away. Yeah, that's really nice, but here's a nicer thing. Say if you drag, let me see what I can drag here. Can I drag this? No, I can't. If you drag click on it and then you drag it and I pull down command while I have it and go to my other space right here I can just release it and there we go but here's the neatest part when I go into another space and I close that there's the picture on both spaces if I close if I just minimize that there's the picture. It goes onto your every desktop or every space on your desktop. <clears throat> and here's 
So when you're in spaces, the settings area in spaces, you can add rows. So say I want to have eight rows. So then if you hold down that, as you can see, there are all my rows that I can go down. Say you want call you don't want rows because that's hard to take care of, but you want columns. You can have up to four columns like that. And as you can see right here, you just switch between your columns left and right. Or say you're that crazy person that has 20 million things running at one time. I'm not saying you're crazy, just you know. And so, you could add up to 16 spaces. There are all your spaces that you can go through, having something running on every one of them. Now as for me, I like to keep it at four spaces just to make it easy, but if you can handle more spaces and trying to close each one and everything, that is fine. <clears throat> so that's how you do it. Uh, if you don't want the command key, if you'd rather have um, that key, That is the option key or alt key, which if you don't want to stretch between the command key and your arrow keys, you can just do the alt key and go like that. Or you could choose that, which I believe is the command key. So you can switch between the command key, the com or the, sorry, that is the control key. So you switch between control key, command key, and alt key, or option key, whatever. I like command key, but you know. And then just, that's how you do it. When you're done, you just close it, and you have all your spaces that you want. So, thanks for watching.